let's just start by looking at both teams and see what's going on with that. Yeah, we got quite an exciting match here. We got BBC 71 against S tier. We're going to be looking at the BB 71 lineup first. We got Mio, we got Hitchem, also known as Forex. We have uh, Jordan FR, Vixies, and Yazid. Uh, what can you tell me about this lineup, Fresco? Well, well, I know Forex played for LSU last season, D4. Uh, very, very strong runner. He definitely held his own. So now that he's back in D4, he's going to be one of their main runners, one of the people that they're going to basically depend on to perform in this matchup. But they also have Mio, which he's also a very, very solid runner, which we're going to be seeing in his POV. Um, then we have Jordan FR, which everyone is familiar with. Everyone knows Jordan FR. He's very, very solid runner. So they definitely have a strong base of runners. And uh, Yazid being a bagger, I think he is a pretty decent bagger as well. So I think the BB71 lineup overall is their probably one of probably the strongest lineup that they have, and it's going to be their one of their best shots at beating ST tonight. Yeah, it seems like it. I mean, just looking looking at the averages real quick, like Mio has a 36, and Jordan FR with a big 42. Even though I'm pretty sure it's only so far, one of I think each of them have only played one match. I think Mio, Mio maybe has played two, but overall, just those averages look pretty, pretty damn good. And even on the side of Forvix and Vixies, they look like to be mainly like mid pack players, you know, trying to like slide, trying to hit items, trying to like, or not trying to hit, trying to hit players with items, and kind of just like leading the way for Mio and Jordan to get those big points. So th this lineup as a whole kind of looks structured pretty well for the most part. Well, the thing is, is like BB71 is a very, very diverse team. So it's like if one player is up in first, the other player can schlag in, in the middle or vice versa. Like they can switch it around a lot. Like they're not they're not like a team where it's like they don't have a player that can't hold down first or they don't have a player who can't schlag. Like I feel like as a as as a whole team overall, I think every single player is like very very skilled in their own right and they can kind of pick up the slack whenever the team needs them to so let's take a look at the st lineup let's see what's going on over there so uh you base if you if you want to put your two cents on that uh yeah sure thing so we got jorge we have with well, ah my bad we have jorge we have monster jesus who have been like pretty much like a core three of playing with st for a very very long time and then they have Big, big name player that mostly everyone in the community knows acme playing today as well which i think i think just as a whole this roster looks really really strong like kind of just the core three they have a lot of chemistry with each other played each other for numerous years so i'm pretty sure they just won this past um the, I, they won division five last season so they're looking here now at division four trying to repeat that as well and with the addition of acme he's definitely going to be like if not the strongest player in this lineup it's always going to be in the front, likely going to be leading in the comms as well. And even the bagger Q is like, he, I feel like he's kind of just made a lot, a lot of strides recently. He's been winning a lot of shock battles, a lot winning like a lot of just these. He, not winning. He's like doing a lot of the good strats like consistently well and consistently just out bagging the other baggers. So I feel like as a whole, this ST team, despite being 0 and 2 in week one, they definitely, definitely are looking for vengeance and trying to get a win on the board. And what I've noticed about D4 is that it's relatively even. Like, I feel like every single team has a shot at winning. Like, I don't really see a favorite in this division. Like, every single team is, has had a close war. Like, every single team is either lost by, like, 24 to, like, 40 points. Like, all these wars have been relatively close. So it's like, like you can't really predict who's going to win or lose here because all these teams are relatively equal in skill level and, like, they match up really well with each other. So, like, it's really up to, like, out outside things like like shock who gets the shock who pulls the blue shells who pulls the better items like i feel like in terms of the skill i feel like it's almost even but it's gonna be up to like which bagger is gonna be able to get more shocks or like which team is gonna be able to slag more like which team is gonna be able to use their items better and maybe which teams get the most track picks like maybe maybe if you start top three or maybe if you start top two four and then you get that track pick you know Sometimes, sometimes it's just certain things like that that kind of like dictate the, like the direction of the war. 
No. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, there's a reason why you know Division Four is the only nine team division, but uh, this season it's just because everyone in that division is just so, it, everyone is just so close. Like literally the skill comparisons and the team dynamics and team, just everything about Division Four is like really close. I'm really looking to see like this division as a whole as well. It's gonna come down to like the last couple of weeks of GSC. I feel like it's gonna be really close in terms of points. Who's gonna make playoffs? Who's gonna like barely miss it? Who's gonna barely make it? Maybe even some tiebreakers along the way. It's just overall just a very dysfunctional division, but very exciting as well. And this matchup as well, I just feel like it's gonna be very exciting. You know, these two teams are looking to get a win of their own. ST trying to get the first win of the season, and BB seven BB seven one is trying to you know get back to back wins and try to um, try to get a little bit of a winning streak here. I mean, one thing about ST that they need to do is they have to get the most points in this match because they are falling a little bit behind, even though they are 0-2 and it's the season's not over by any means necessary. But I feel like if you kind of fall behind a little bit early in the season, I, like it's going to be an uphill battle that you just cannot come back from. Like, you know, even if, even if you're not the worst team or even if you're not the best team, it's like, points matter like it like like this whole gsc system depends on points like you can win gps but if you don't win the war you lose out on four points and like four points is like a huge amount of points that you could be missing out on and it's like i feel like st is going into this matchup like hey listen like you know we need the points like you know what i'm saying like i feel like they do like they're looking at this as like if we can't win this match, then it's going to be very, very hard to make the playoffs. And, you know, only four teams make the playoffs and there's nine teams. So you're competing with five, basically eight other teams for four spots. And that's, yeah. you know, there's a lot of other teams who can just swipe up and take that spot. No, yeah, without a doubt. It's kind of just like, it's, it's, especially because like of how the conferences are set up, you know, like you have to have... Uh, like you have to be the best team in your conference, or you get the one wow. wild card pick, and then otherwise it's kind of just like you're screwed. So like, you have to, you have to try to be. Si escucha mi juego me dicen. Perdón, que lo tengo bien alto. Looks like we're about to start going on into the war. Um, do you have any idea what tracks any of these two would pick aside like standards and uh RBCs possibly or anything? Any other? Perhaps. RBC Yes, that is indeed RBC. It's just typical. I mean, it's the best tracks for these spots. You know, there's a there's not really a whole lot of reason why to go for anything else. So, it's not a very safe route. Surprising. Yep. And uh, let's go, Maple Tree Way, the spicy matchup, the matchup we've all been waiting for. Let's go, boys. Let's get it. Yeah, we're starting off with Mio here in second. Monster's running it up in first. Nothing too crazy at the moment. We're seeing a Peach bagging, which I think is a little bit interesting. Not that it matters too, we're too much. We're trailing a green here. Uh, we're going to see if he hits that. I mean, Mio is taking very, very, very tight lines here. We're going to see if Monster backs that green there. He does. Good job on me on avoiding that back spam. I believe it's an ST member behind him as well, so he has to watch out. He picks up the shroom, be able to possibly steal first. Nah, it's still monster in first place, but overall, so far, nothing too crazy. Mio's a little bit on his own at the Mio moment, but he has a shroom. In second. He's definitely yeah. taking cut here. This might give him a lead here. It might give him the slight edge in first. We're going to see if... Yeah, indeed he does. We'll see if he shows that red there. Try and get him out of second. Yeah, overall, just running it up. Uh, we're seeing one of the ST member or one of the ST baggers is going back, possibly losing Bill. Uh, overall, nothing too much happening. We see another BBZ member oh, going we up. We see a, a blue, blue shell down. hitting Mio. But Forvex is basically took his place in first. 
But as we see second here having triple greens and oh and he gets Ooh. trail with the triple greens. Ouch, buddy. Yeah, oh, the top three for BBZ now. And if BBZ seven one has the shock, this will be very, very detrimental for ST coming up to lap three yeah. over here. We could see a possible lap lap three shock here, dodging lap dodging lap three here. That blue is really, really helpful for Monster. He's likely going to throw it after Cannon. I assume since he didn't spam it, it's possible that SC could have Shock. And it seems He's like... He's to slow down there in a bit. And, oh, they dodge in the Cannon. So we're going to see him throw the blue shell after they dodge. But Vic is... Does have triple reds there. It gets wheelie bumped. Uh, slowly starting to see a little bit of... The S team members kind of rise up. BB7 in the middle spots. Monster here in fifth with no item. I did see Vorbex or someone else with triple reds up in. Oh, and Monster does pull another blue shell. We're going to see if that blue shell hits him on the line last minute. I don't think so. No, it seems like Jesus got first seems and I like got ST third. Got one, four, five. Yeah, pretty, pretty solid race for. Oh. Well, on, on here, we see that Jorge and Monster actually got bottom two, but still 1-3 for ST is still pretty solid nonetheless. Given that they have Shock and Blue, especially going into that cannon was really, really helpful. Uh, They got a little bit screwed, as we saw. Monster wasn't able to pass. I think it was Vix with the reds. So he right. kind of just had to sit there after dodging, but overall, still a solid race for ST. Yeah, and I think that... um. Vic with the triple reds did kind of save the race there because if he didn't have those reds, they would have he he would have just gotten past. So I think he did play a part in making sure that you know they kind of like did like a little bit more damage control in that race so that you know ST didn't get anything better than that. Yeah, I mean it's just the the two blue poles really helped ST kind of bail them out because I imagine if they didn't have one of them, it could have easily been. A better race for BBC, uh, BB71. I'm going to keep messing up that name, that's for sure. But nonetheless, we're up by one at the moment. We're going to be going into race two. Now that um, now that MT is gone, what would be another 1-3 track for you that you think ST would pick? I'm thinking I'm thinking ST goes goldmine here. They are a bottom two. They get the boxes on the ramp. Um, okay. And if it's BB71, they're definitely... Oh, as we see... ST going Ooh. DK Jungle Parkway. I kind of like the pick. It's a little, a little unorthodox. Seven one is going RBC. And as we see yeah. RBC here getting picked. Yeah, I mean, I like. I personally like the the. So sorry for cutting you off there. I personally like the DKJP pick. It's a little bit unorthodox. Sally didn't get it though, and we're gonna be seeing seeing BBC seven one. Get the RBC pick, you know, pretty good for those even spots. You're gonna see Mio drafting up here, kind of bringing no, away he has a little. Greens, that is very, very, very good to have in first. Like you're basically in the money there if you can back second and third, or second and whoever else is. We'll see. I mean, he's he has two greens. He can easily do something here. I mean, he's ba he can basically keep first if he can hit these back spams. Man, so far only the first one connected, but now we see Forvix slowly getting up there. Green does hit the bagger, so he will not have that much of a protection. Green, or Nanos are getting thrown, he's still maintaining first, and he backs Oh, and he third. backs his own teammate. I really don't know where that what that was. I think it might, might have been a miscom, but definitely a big one nonetheless. Man, I was... Jesus here, Jorge and Jesus are holding down 2-3. Yeah, they're going to be right behind him. And uh, I just, if you look at the bagging battle real quick, Q seems to be in 10th. We see slowly the Acme shroomed up into first. Now we have Monster in the back here with triple shrooms trying to possibly get a dodge. Gets a golden uh, instead. I can only imagine that he's going to try and use that at the cut. I really don't know what he's holding this golden for, but he's probably going to use it when there's a huge shortcut. And as a pow happens, a target pow and ST... Not really. Didn't really do too much, but this pack is super close, dude. Like, it I feel like this race close. can go any way. I feel like this race is going to come down to who gets the shock. And yeah, and without a doubt, like, we've seen the Peach starting to, like, jump off, and that's the BBC 7-1 bagger, so it's possible that Q for, the, for ST has the shock. 
Oh, and something happened to first. I, I really don't know what that was. Uh, kind of slowed down there a bit. Might have hidden the wall there before taking rail. But now ST has a top two. Yeah, solid top two from ST, and they have a lot of items to back with as well. So we see the rest of BBC 7 1 right behind them, though, right on their tail. See, a little coordination and they're right there. backing here in first and second. Basically, just really giving like themselves that. a break. Oh, oh, and Monster gets TS'd in the grass, and BB71 is coming up. Yeah, we see Vic stopping star. up. And there's a bomb as well, does not connect. We believe ST, ST is still 1-3. Yeah, they are still 1-3. Only dodged one person, and Vic is not taking rail, so they could possibly get steal a top two here. Oh, oh and then the fit back, and ST pulls out wow. a top two out of the dust, man. Fib came out of nowhere. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what he... I, I do like that he went wide as well to try to predict him going... Like, he, he predicted that he was going to try to avoid a tight back spam, and he said went wide to predict him going wide, and ended up, like, you know, ended up working out very well for ST, despite the shock going on BBC 7-1s. Favor, it was most definitely a better race for ST. I mean, hey, I mean, league matches are, are like chess matches, dude. Like, you go wide or you go tight. Like, which one is the backspin going to be in? Like, you really just don't know. Like, you like you don't know if they're back in tight, wide. Because keep in mind, top two has been, you know, coordinating their backspin. So if you're in third place, you're going to have to figure out, like, yo, is this last backspin going to be tight or wide? And I think what he was doing was figuring that maybe it wasn't going to be tight and he just went wide he, you know he took the chance and he just lost the gamble but as we see i mean these races are really huge like this war is still close yeah without a doubt it made a difference for sure now if you're st i imagine you would go for maybe an mh maybe a type of uh ddr and it seems like they're opting for ddr as for uh, BB71, they're opting to go for Gardens, which I'd like, you know, get a little bit of a recent track in there, kind of get back into the groove of things. And it seems like DDR is the track being picked here. Man, I mean, ST is top two, so we're going to see if they take a sand hop, get, get that early lead. Yeah, without a doubt. I would be very surprised if we see Acme fail that, considering that he's been such a top tier caliber... Uh, caliber player for such a long time see Mio with triple triple shrooms here opting to chain for it for a better item maybe a golden or a star he does not get that as we see Jordan win a mega does slag some of the ST members there and Mio has triple shrooms in fourth so we might see him in third so if he takes this ultra here he's probably gonna be in first with a huge a pretty pretty decent lead we'll see what happens here he, he yeah. might like be close to acme after taking this cut then he takes a safe route with it hits the dirt a little oh, bit and gets and by his star. teammate Ooh, that's a I little think. bit unfortunate yeah it's one of the things about ultra is like if you get the wrong line you just go into the sand and then boom like something could just hit you like that now, yeah, without a doubt, and we're seeing Agni Ooh, we still see running it up in first, and the backspan, yeah, we see that backspan for sure, ST's bringing away a little bit more, it's possible that one of the ST, oh, I was, I was about to say, there is a blue for Acme, so that will help close the lead a little bit. I mean, they are still top two, might be top three. Yeah, we're seeing... Monster now run it up. I'm curious to see if there's going to be any Ultra Takers. I'd be very surprised if they don't. Maybe they even use Shock to TS some of the Ultra Takers, but that does not seem like it's the case. Ram Neal's I, POV, and he does not get an item box. It's just quite crucial. I'm like I'm thinking that this Shock is going to be used at the last set. Uh, like I'm thinking they're they're probably going to Shock some of their members, and oh, the oh. Shock happens in the wall glitch, and Monster retains first. That's basically a free first right there. Oh. Never mind. As we not see Mio with the shroom, see if he chains that. He's not gonna chain it, so he is depending on ST members not to pull shrooms. 
He doesn't get the air, but he still passes him. Yeah, he still passes him. We see BBC 7-1 do get bottom two, though, which is not the greatest luck. But it is possible that... Um, or actually, I'm not too sure what happened to the, uh, what happened to Jordan. He might have gone first, maybe second. Not quite sure on that. We will find out soon enough. That was quite the crucial wall glitch shock. Yeah, I'm very surprised by it. I mean, it did get, uh, uh it did get, uh, Mio into the item boxes, but he just didn't really get much of a good chain from it. We see Monster, we see a 1-3-4 from ST, very solid raise on ST's part, and now they're going to be looking to take a little bit more of a lead going into the last race of the GP, looking to try to get those DSC points. Yeah, this is a 19 point lead, man, and this is going into the last race of GP1, and BB7-1 is going to have to pull like a miracle here in order to get that GSC point, because a 19 point lead third race is definitely like a hill to like a hill it's definitely a mountain to climb and we're gonna see if bb71 is gonna be able to recover from that as we yeah. see uh st picking totes factory it looks like uh, yeah it seems like they're deliberating a little bit i would imagine if you're bbc 71 you try to go for some type of reset track maybe an rsl another rpg pick seems like they settle on tf which i think is definitely the best move that they could go for well, we'll see what track pick gets picked here. It looks like we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We spin the wheel and Peach Gardens Already gets beat. picked out of all tracks. Yeah, the only one that was there, pretty essentially. The one in ten odds strike again, you know? Never sleep on those. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. You see me all not getting in the box. Kind of getting a little bit screwed there. I believe that is big. Like, you Vic, need yeah, the boxes there. Confirmed. You need to get something there because if you're not getting anything in a bottom spot in Peach Gardens, like people are just gonna be shrooming up. Yeah, for really sure. Lead. But he does pull a pow here, so we might see him coordinate a pow maybe lap two before the cut. And oh, and he gets hit by a random green. Oh wow. Yeah, Stands I like that pal. he uses the POW, because you just can't fall too far behind. Granted, it is Gardens, so you can still have a little bit of leeway. Oh, and there's oh, a bomb! and then the bomb snipe, and the star doesn't even drop for him. That, that, is, is really that hurts, man. That must hurt. You see Monster out here holding out second, but BB71 Vic is out there in first. He's probably praying for a Zeus to be here. Doesn't get it, but he does get a fib. Yeah, it does not seem like many people... Opt to take the cut. Seems like only one person really took oh, the cut. That's a the really tight good. Fib. Yeah. yeah. Very unexpected. The yeah, Agni ah. kind of show up in third now, possibly second. Oh, and Zeus is in fourth as well. So ST at the moment three, two, three, four. Switching off to Mio's POV, he has a golden mushroom, which could be really helpful in catching up, unless there is a last second shot or not last second, uh, first set shock. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking that. Whichever team is has the shock here, they're probably going to dodge this first set. If not, they're dodging near last set, because that's usually where the shocks happen. They don't usually happen near the uh, near the dog. So we'll see what happens there. As you see Mio golding up in fourth, so he's definitely hoping for an item here to get him up in first or at least like third, second. Oh, and he pulls a oh. ground star. That is huge. As he gets up in the third. Is he going to be able to get into second? Oh, and then he wheelie locks into hey, oh. <laughs> oh, my lord. Jeez, that must, that must hurt a lot. Jesus. Okay, well, he does have a red there, but that's definitely not the item that he wants. Oh, and then ST Monster gets sniped out of fourth. Yeah, the bomb, kind of crazy. We see, yeah, we see the little replay here, and he ends up getting... Eight. Uh, I feel like in a way it's kind of it's either just Shockless or ST just ended up holding Shock because most definitely if BB BB seven one had the Shock they would have used it when they, he uh what they call when Neo picked up the Ground Star just to secure that first but it did not seem like they had it so the GSC points are likely going to be in the favor of ST which is huge for them for the GSC standings. I mean, if you are BB71, it's not completely over. You are still in the war, but I think that Mio's wheelie lock into that bush there was 
very, very costly. It would have gotten him up to second, but I guess, the, you know, controller bugs do happen. And, uh, yeah, I mean, ST, we're going to see ST getting the two GSC points here, but it's not completely over yet. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt, it's not even close to being over. I mean, that, that really log really does hurt. It's kind of just game mechanic, you know, controller malfunction. Happens to the best of us, but really unfortunate to happen in a league match. But we will be seeing uh, ST up by 22 points, which is not the largest lead, but it is a lead nonetheless. So they're a little bit, a little bit in the driver's seat, a little bit comfortable going into uh, race five here. Well, the positive thing about GSC matches are that even if you lose GP1, it's basically like the score resets GP2, because you are looking for the points. Like, you're only looking to win the GP, so... If they, like, if BB71 comes back and wins the GP, even if they're still losing the war, they still get the points. So I'm not sure if, like, they're looking to win the GP or win the war. I mean, they definitely do want to win the war. I mean, they're only losing by 22. But, you know, just because they give away two points, I mean... This is still a great matchup, you know, these two teams are, are still going at it, and we're going to see what BB71 does to try and come back from this. Yeah, we're looking at the track picks, uh, opting to see a D, uh, DK Mountain for ST and a uh, Daisy Circuit for BB71, which I find kind of interesting. You don't really see Daisy Circuit all that often. Yeah, that is very, very uncommon. And as we see DK Mountain being picked, now DK Mountain is a hard running track. You definitely need to have a good idea of how to drive this track if you want to be successful here. Yeah, Those for back sure. Back spams can be lethal. Yeah, and the, the you know caliber players like Acme and Monster, who has really good lines in this track, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they picked the track. As he gets off the back spam onto Mio, can start trying to break away in this in this race yeah as i said like that first turn is like very very huge i mean people usually back tight there and you know unless you have a red in second and you wait for him to back there that's basically just like a, that's basically a death spot yeah for sure i mean at the moment monster is the only one running it up in first you see two bb71 members in two three Neo looking to try to outline Acme, pulls Shrooms, likely going to Shroom here, get just to get away from him, and we see a 2-3-4 now from BB-7-1. If they get blue, this will be really huge for them. Right. I mean, this is like, this is very, very good, and as we see ST Monster doing something there to lose first, and now we see BB-7-1 being like top 2-4 or 1-3-4 as we see here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We see <laughs> apologize for those background noises that we have. Um, Monster ends up getting to first. I think he hit one of the members actually, so that was a good snap yeah, on Monster. Yeah, he might have trailed someone. I mean, we do see Mio with the shroom here in second. He is taking the 2008 strat. He probably doesn't want to he get exists. back in cut. <laughs> yeah, I like the, the strat. Happens. I have not seen that in oh, forever. The ground green barely dodges the ground green. So we're gonna see what happens here. We're gonna see depending on which team has the shock. They might go for a dodge in first, or we're going to see them getting called out. Yeah, Bulldogger's kind of just at the set. Not too sure if any of them have. The Funky did just jump off, so BB71, I think, is the Funky. Yeah, he does not. No, it's Q. He does not have the shock at the moment. It's possible, yes, it could pull it. Seems like a shockless race. I mean, if anyone has the shock, this is going to be a spam. Like, they're basically just going to pull it last minute and spam something here, because... I don't see any of these teams pulling shock. I mean, I see Monster over here again first. Mio's trailing Nana, but then he hits the tight Nana. He oh, but he takes the awkward line, but he still manages to make the cut. And as a blue shell comes, that might be hitting second. That is it hitting is. second on the... Oh, yeah, no, oh, I don't think it is. Yeah, he survived it. And that, that, that just goes to show that SG was holding blue the entire time and Monster was able to kind of just run it up for the most part, so he didn't have to worry too, too much about it. I mean, I think that, you know, ST, uh, or, I mean, they definitely, you know, Monster did lose first for a minute there. Like, I mean, we did see that, so I'm not really sure what was happening. I mean, it was just like a back and forth between, like, who had the better lines in that track. Like, I don't see, I mean, like, all those, all those players were relatively close to each other. 
and nothing really happened other than really Mio hitting the Titanana, but I mean, yeah, we that see that was just a driving battle. <laughs> it really was for sure, without a doubt. We see a one four five six from ST, bottom two from BB seven one. I think also like at the cut, I'm not hundred percent sure if I read that right, but when he did like get stuck on the fence i'm pretty sure he did end up hitting one of the bb71 members off the track or like just bumping them off at the very least so kind of just screwed over the whole team as a whole but sc taking a little bit of a bigger race here now a little bit of a bigger lead going into race six if you're bb71 what, what, what how do you think the comms are going what do, what do you think they can do to try to turn it around at the moment uh well i think first of all i think BB71 has to be more involved in the top spots. I think that, uh, you know, they do have players that are in the top spots. They are very uh, evolved in the top spots. But, like, you know, we need to see more BB71 involvement. We need to see more slagging from BB71. We need to see more, like, uh, shortcuts, item usage. Just, like, just, just the small things. Like, it's the small things that pay off. It's the small things, like slagging you know shrooming up early uh because you can't really depend on your bagger all the time yeah for sure and we're seeing an rso get picked uh i kind of think this is a track where bb71 can actually change the tides of the war it is very very like run heavy but also very catastable just because of being able to use shrooms into off-road and being able to have the TC. we're gonna see if he keeps, he's, he's able to pass it they are top four. Oh, a little bit of a dc from monster a little bit unfortunate uh, that is that is indeed very very huge a uh, monster was they get first the previous race but mio does get tc'd and we're seeing here that he's pulling a box at seven and in Sherbert Land, the pack is relatively close, so if you do shrooms here, you're just able to shroom up with relative ease. So we're going to see what Mio does here, since we don't have Monsters POV anymore. Yeah, we'll be looking to just stay on Mio for this race, as ST will be fighting a 3v4 for this race in particular. He pulls a golden, not the best use, I mean, he does get up to third. It's not the end of the yeah. world, but he could easily... I think that, that usage was pretty defense. decent. I think the usage was pretty decent, but he did get wheelie bummed near the line lap too, so he probably felt like he had to use it there or else something would have happened to him. I'm not really sure. But as a pow comes here, ST does get target powered, so Ooh. Mio does hold a second, so I think BB71 is top two now. Yeah, and this is what you were talking about. They need that frontal princess, and right now they have first and a little bit of a lead. He gets redded, unfortunately, so. Uh, I think it's Jorge in second now, but he's still at the very least at first. So if they're holding blue, this will be really good for BB71. This will be very good, but also Mio's in fifth. He has an opportunity to pull a really good item. He has a pow in fifth, so we're going to see if he can target pow them in the cave, most likely. Man, we see Forvex using a Mega Dare. Not opting to use Stog, it seems like. The Peach actually drove off off the track, so they do not have Stog. Orvex does get backed as well. He's still maintaining this right. power. He changes it at the set. Oh, and he pals triple shrooms out, and he pulls a last-minute mega. We're going to see if he's able to dodge the shock here very, very last minute. Nah, yeah, he goes into a star. Maybe he calls him out. As well, and he goes up into fourth. Wow. That item look is crazy. That was just the craziest item look I've ever seen. In the last turn of Sherbert Land, like he clutched it up for himself. Yeah, for and sure. That pow, that pow almost didn't even work out for Mio because he used the pow and he got a death shroom and almost hit the wall there. So that 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 would have been very crucial for him if he if that pow didn't work out in his favor. Yeah, without a doubt. And I mean we saw you see now a one three four was it top two i wasn't too i wasn't able to actually fully get that but it was a good race for bb71 that's kind of a race that you needed in a way to let it, to get some type of momentum to start closing down the gap we're going to be seeing reset being used because of monster going uh up because monster got dc'd i think we'll be going into a short break waiting to see the wind fill up so we'll be right back yes sir baby stay easy
who's picking what here. All right. And we are back, baby, for the BB71 ST matchup. Hopefully, y'all have gotten some snacks or some food or whatever you're trying to eat or drink or consume for this matchup. Uh, we're back. Yeah, we're back. Um, scores from scores at the moment will be back up. Tuba kind of had a little bit of a screw up, but we will both, we will have them properly set up in a little bit. We see the Daisy Circuit get picked. Ooh, I'm excited for this. This is this is the interesting track that we've all been waiting for. Like, I I don't know why any team picks this track, but honestly, I'm kind of excited to see. Like, yeah, I'm kind of I am excited. as well. <laughs> yeah, we see Mio pick up the shrooms in eight. Just going for that cut. I believe Monster. Yeah, right now we have a top two from ST. Right, outlining a little bit Mio there. And we see Vex, or yeah, four Vex get hit. But Mio shrooms up into third to take his spot. And we see uh, ST with a top two and he drifts the wrong way. And he does have to shroom up to escape Jorge's TC here. Well, actually, he doesn't, but he d can't save a shroom. And, oh, oh, and he gets backed right there. And Daisy Circuit's one of those tracks where you cannot get hit by anything. Because low-key, this is kind of like a running track. If if Shock is not there, like, and you're in first with the break, like, this is a running track, basically. Yeah, it pretty much is. There's literally barely any cuts other than, like, that little staircase. Man, which and even then, it doesn't save as much. We see a pow get used to try to T-Pow uh, some of the members. BBC 71s doesn't seem like it does much. Mio's opting to go for an 8 placer. It's possible that they could have shock, which would be huge for them. Yeah, and ST is holding a top 2, and if no team has shock here, this is basically going to be a free top 2 for ST. I mean, I, I really don't know what BB 71s going to be able to do here to like recover. I mean, maybe get this last minute bomb snipe, but then Mio oh. gets back to here, and I think that's just perma 8th. I think ST is holding a top 2 here. There is a shock into set for BBC71, it seems, seems like. I don't know if it'll actually change any of the spots. Seems like his is guaranteed first, looking like Monster picks up the star just to secure second. Uh, not too sure who got the rest of the spots. Seems like BBC78s are all in the back though, it's possibly a bottom two for them. Yeah, I'm thinking BB71 did get like 3-4, maybe 3-5, but they definitely weren't in any like top, top spot. And like, as I said, Daisy Circuit is just that like, you know, if 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 no shock happens and you get an early lead and no blues have been used in, in this race, like you're basically just, you're you're just free first. Like, yeah, there's, there's, there's really nothing you can do. Yeah, so, I mean... It's just the items didn't go in the favor of BBC 71. We see the results. Top 2, 4, 5, 4 ST. Looking like they're making... They're extending that lead a little bit more now. Going into race 7, I believe. Yeah. I mean, hey, I mean, it sounds like they were listening to our to our stream or something. Because they're just out here racking up points. And, uh, I mean, they're top 2, 4, 5, which is huge. I mean, we might see like a TF or... Or like a BC or like a BC Wee box deal strat if they ever want to do that. If they're ever comfortable with that, but I mean they're basically in the money here. And as we see, they're picking Rainbow Road. Oh, I like this pick. I like it. I like it. We don't get to see Rainbow Road all that often. It's and we seem a little bit mixed between uh Desert Hills and Delfino from BB71, which I think is Interesting enough, we don't get to see Desert Hills all that much either. It's definitely a reset track. I mean, if you pick Rainbow Road, you better hope that ST is their own worst enemies here, because, I mean, Rainbow Road is one of those tracks where they could easily, like, co coordinate backspam and just get er get an early lead. And as I said with Daisy Circuit, I mean, it is a short track, but with this track, it's really long, but this is a hardcore running track. If you get an early lead in Rainbow Road, man, you're just gone. Yeah, 100%. And we're seeing that some of the members are opting to... Oh, is, well, would that be a pen? Mio falls off a really bomb. I don't think it is a pen. I don't think so, right? Because it wasn't... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I just saw no. the bagger right there, and I was like, wait, pen, pen, pen? I but think no, that bagger just made a play there. I think he just made a really, really <laughs> insane play. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. 
as we see ST being 1-3 and Jordan being the only presence up in second and Mon and I think he just got taken out there. Oh, not no, 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 I think he just lagged there, but I mean, ST top two. I mean, if they get, oh, he gets oh, hit the by red. the red shell. Wow, and ST, Acme has reds. He reds Jordan at second and ST is top three, dude. And Acme has has triple has a uh, has a red dangling around him. I mean, this team is basically top four. Essentially, yeah. I mean, they're starting to slowly, slowly build up a little bit of a lead. Seen someone possibly do moon jump, but it doesn't seem like it'll do much. We fast forward a little bit to Mio trying to maybe get a dodge something. It's possible that BB71 could have shark. Not 100% sure. Pulls shrooms, which won't do that much in this track. I mean, you don't want to be in a situation where your last hope is like a blue or a shock, because if that's what it is and you don't get that, I mean, ST is just going to be running it up. And it looks like they're top three still. I'm not sure what happened to. Well, it the, seems their like. Player. Yeah, it seems like Jorge, who is the Daisy on the track, is in seven. He's possibly fishing for. Right. Dodge item, just in the scenario where the top three finish, you can just dodge up at the end. We see red get thrown, likely not going to do anything. They're going to need shock here in order to try to break this top three. I mean, this race is a double-edged sword, man. Like, if SD has the shock, they're just going to dodge top three, and this is just going to be over. So, we, you know, this can go either way here. We're going to see what happens in the cannon. Uh, Acme, it seemed like Acme either messed up or he opted to slow down with them to try to dodge with them. I'm not 100% sure. Monster actually gets powed off, it seems like, and there's shock that happens. Yeah, he gets oh, powered wow. off right here. He's powered off the track, so that is basically just almost over for him, but he does dodge off the respawn. ST, oh, oh the mega. Acme gets Mio in the mega and just basically just says, get out of here, son. Is that top four? Oh, that that might have been the top four. Jesus, Acme, and yeah, I think that's the top four for ST. They used the shock to uh, respawn dodge monster from getting T-Powed, and I think they dodged Jorge in the back with some type of star or something. So that is that is quite rough for BB71. That BB was a beacon of chaos, man. And in Rainbow Road, getting shock is relatively not easy. Like you, you know, you do have to sit for a while and kind of like hope that the other player gambles or goes for the strat or you know whatever it is like rainbow road isn't the track that you commonly see baggers really moving around too much so the fact that st just gets a huge top four i mean it sounds like bb71 is just gonna have to like settle for scraps here at gp3 yeah what up yeah i mean the best i don't think they could win Based off how like, the GSC system works, this this GP as a whole is GP3, and I think the next two races are uh, slotted to be the end of GP2. So it seems like uh, GP3, in terms of GC points, can be a little bit chalked up for BB71, as they did just get top 4 in that GP alone. So that is looking a little bit rough for them. I mean, and it's also scary that ST is just, like, coming from all angles like they're in top spots you know they like they're using their items relatively well and it's like it like it seems like they're in the zone like it seems like they're just in a zone where it's like they're like they're like they just cannot be stopped <laughs> yeah and then we see i think probably the first time in a very long time we're seeing rmr which is essentially just the luck track of the luck tracks you know it just it's it's runnable in some instances but very very hard to just because there's so many grass cuts yeah i mean i don't know if i like this track pick it just it just shows desperation like i mean and also like this can also not go very well for you as well like raceway is just a huge gamble like you, you really just do not know what's going to happen here like it, you know either either bb71 pulls a pulls a miraculous race here or st you know gets maybe what what they want in that maybe they don't get like a losing race by that much or maybe they even get the big race and as we see me getting nana sniped there i mean man that just fell on top of his head right there you feel me 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Acme that kind of just threw it up, up over there and then just hit him directly on the head. Going to see Mio up to chain his shroom here. Pulls triple reds. Not really what you want. And he oh, and he oh, lands on his red. his ground reds. I mean, I, I don't know if that's really uh Oh man, that that must hurt, but it is raceway, so it's definitely not the end of the race here. He can pull something here. Let's see what he pulls. He pulls a bomb. I mean, he's definitely not pulling the best items like Oh, he's not pulling almost any good items at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a shocking to say, we see uh, Forex dodge in the star. Might be able to be the turning tide of this race, not 100% sure. It could, but Mio does pull a POW here, and Forex does get redded. Oh, man, this yeah, is just chaos. First. Look at this pack. Look at this pack, dude. And oh, oh and he's getting redded. redded. Second with the shroom. This... This is Raceway, dude. This is what Raceway is. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if he retains second. Oh, there's oh, another man. Red. Red it too. Is everyone just getting red? It's like a red barrage. Yeah, it might be bottom two for ST. A little bit of a better race for BBC 7-1. You've got to get bigger races than that, but I mean, it's a starting point if they're trying to win the war. Yeah, I mean, if they want to win the war, they have to look for a miracle. They need, they need the... Uh, they need the lottery ticket out here in GP3. They got to go crazy because, like, that top four and this race, I don't think it's really going to do too much for them. Uh, does not seem like it. Seems relatively even just because Asu still gets first. Uh, I, I, I'm not too sure if they're just, like, out of winning the GP. They maybe have to, like, top four back, and then maybe they have, like, some sort of chance. For the most part, uh... In terms of the war, they've got to get some big races here. They've got to get, like, I don't know, top, uh, like, back-to-back, -back, like, top threes and something in order to try to win this back. Because the 60-point lead is not going to go anywhere anytime soon. This is what I always say you have to avoid. Like, you have to avoid situations like these where, like, you're depending on, like, the last four races to, to, to get back in the war. Like, you really hate to be in the situation where, you know... You can't get the two points for the for uh, for the GSC, but at the same time, like, you know, I don't think their mentality is that oh, like, uh, we have to we have to come back, like, you know, right now because like I mean this this comeback this sixty point comeback is a huge hill to battle. Like it's very hard, especially when your team has just been getting very very bad luck, you know. So you kind of have to keep your head up and. We're gonna we're gonna see how BB71 responds to this. Like we're gonna see if they can pull off these these two points. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we're seeing Mio with this room. Jesus hits the one BBC7 member. Ops to not take the cut. Uh, Ops to take this one, I suppose. Yeah, it's a top two for BBC7 early on into this race. Yeah, I mean, and BB71 is definitely hoping that their bagger has a star here to drop her first. And we'll see if Mio can hold it down in second. I'm not really sure who's in third. It looks like one of looks like Daisy's in third. It looks like one of the ST members are in third. Nope, they are top three. The top three. It's a good early oh, start. The start. I don't gets think it's dropped for third dropped place. for third, which I kind of like. You know, you don't have to. If you get third, like a little bit more of a breakaway. Oh, he gets starred. And then Mio gets starred. And combo. Oh, and then he gets oh wow. Green, so he just he's just out of there. Kaboom, Crazy. Kabam. And then just during <laughs> the star, just getting that item in fourth. He pulls triple reds. Probably gonna do Shroomba here. No, he doesn't do it. Probably just doesn't want to hit his teammate. And he wants to get Orbex out of the second. Yeah, red will probably break there. I don't know what happened to his teammate, actually. Maybe he just conceded third and he's right behind him. I'm not 100% sure. It seemed like he was ahead just for a little bit. See a little bit of a cheeky, uh, Fib, fib, a uh, tight fib spam on BC Seven One members trying to get Monster out of third. I mean, despite Mio just basically getting like railed there, like lap, basically lap one. I mean, BB Seven One is still top two. Like, they are still holding down these spots, and I think if if they even want to sniff a comeback or they even want to sniff those two points, they need to keep this lead. Yeah, a bomb here. here. Oh, doesn't get him. Doesn't hit. I really don't know the mindset throwing the bomb there because he definitely wasn't going to go to the ram. He's definitely taking Shroomba there. You can see him trailing the red. 
Yeah, maybe maybe just a little bit, a little bit. He jumped the gun a little bit there. Uh, we see Jorge come up to third now, and Monster hits Ouch. late red, which is going to be a Ouch. little bit incremental. I mean, your last hope here is a shock if you're if you're ST, which I'm not sure if any one of these have. Mio does dodge last minute, so we're going to see if he can pull out a third, maybe a fourth place here. Ooh, I think... Oh, I want to say that's a top two four. It. Yeah, I think that's a top two four. four. <clears throat> we'll see, but... That is huge for BB71. I think that uh, that does give them a chance. It, it gives them a chance to, at the very minimum, get the points. I'm not sure about the comeback, but we're going to have to see how they respond in the next race. Because... Well, well, the thing is that this is the the last race of the GP, so I believe they won't get the points because this whole, this whole GP that just happened is counted as GP3. And it seems like SC members just have way too many points for it to be a BBC 7-1 um, GP win. So I believe it is 4-0 right now, and we're playing the last two races of GP2 going into the end of the war here. Which BBC 7-1 can still fight for the GC points for this GP. Right. I mean, you know, GP2 was one of those GPs where I think ST kind of edged it out there. But I don't think that BB71 is completely out of getting those two points. But they're going to have to pull something really, 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 really rare here. Getting, like, top threes, big races. Like, you don't like to be in that situation because you're just, you're just, your mind is like, oh, we have to top three, we have to top three. And it's like, when you're battling a team like ST, it's going to be hard to do that. Like, you can't just say, oh, yeah, we'll just top three. You know, because you're going against a team that's very, very, very skilled. <laughs> yeah, without that. He's not going to let you do that. Yeah, they're not. They're not whatsoever. Especially with a uh, top tier caliber player like Acme in the lineup, it's going to be even harder to do just because he's been balling out for the most part. Same thing with Monster. They've kind of just been running it up in those top spots. So it's going to be a very difficult task. Not necessarily impossible, but very, very difficult. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how BB71 does respond here. I mean, you know, fighting these uphill battles is just very, like, it's just very stressful. You know, like, you don't want to be in the situation where you're playing for your team and, you know, your last hope is, like, to get, like, a top four or, like, a top three, you know? At the bare minimum, you do want to be, like, at, at a space where at least, you know, all right, maybe we can get like a slightly winning race to get back into it. But when it comes to the point where you have to top four, or top three in a track like this, DK Jungle Parkway, that's going to be a very, very hard uphill battle to to, to get through. Yeah, you've got to you got to kind of bet on that your bagger gets shock here and then they could, you know, utilize the cannon here to try to make something happen. Monster is going to be running it up in first. Seems like Jordan possibly drafted, but then got really bumped possibly not 100 percent sure there uh monster bags here mio might be a little bit screwed he opts not to i think his mindset is to trail in first and mio does slow down in second and pulls a red that definitely wasn't what he wanted there and now he's just back into fifth but he can pull something here now we see one of the ST members get hit kind of early but he's gonna be in the back getting some of those power items we have a mega here or Mia, which can be huge. You see Jorge in the star opting to slide with the Oh he's Mio off of the track with a mega ouch. Oh my that is lord. Rough. That is huge, <laughs> and I think that that might have just crushed like any hope of like you know, getting up in those spots. Like you fall off there. Like I'm telling you, like that's like the infamous troll spot with the prowler, dude. Like you can't, <laughs> you can't get out of there, like you're just stuck. Yeah, for sure, and we see, I mean, that, that's just rough. I mean, like, Jorge, Jorge, like, pretty much has been really solid in the mid-pack. He hasn't been really up there, and for the most part, he's kind of just let Acme and uh, Monster just run it up there, while Jorge is kind of just destroying everyone in the mid-pack, which is essentially what you want from your players. There's a blue coming for Monster. Doesn't seem like it'll do too much, as Acme isn't second, and they still maintain a strong top two. Yeah, I think BB71's last hope here is just to pull that shock. And we'll see your monster taking the cut there. Um, sometimes sometimes when you're top two and you have a shroom in second, 
sometimes, uh, you know, like you let second pass first just in case there's a blue, but that didn't happen there. I guess he just wants to take cut there. Yeah, and uh, we're seeing some greens on the ramp. We don't see a cannon dodge. Um, not too sure who has shot, in all honesty. So you see Mio pulling a star, and he's close, you know? Like, he's, like, if BB71 has the shock, he can definitely clutch out first. We'll see what he does here. He pulls a gold, and he's definitely praying that shock happens, which I don't think it will. But we'll see if he can pull any miraculous spot up here. Oh, he takes the cut. He shrooms up, and he gets fourth. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't unfortunately really help him. I mean, it was God, God tier pulls that he got there. You know, star into gold and is pretty much what you would, what you would want. But it just wasn't enough to break that top two. I think from ST. So it seems like they're kind of just out of it, at least in terms of the war. I don't think they could win it. Not quite sure how the GSC points are looking like, but it seems unlikely and is possibly an ST Tenno. Maybe, not sure. Yeah, I think uh, this is this is looking like a 10-0 from ST, and I think and I think they really needed this match because they lost their two matches, their previous two matches. So they they needed to get something here, and they've proven that you know they're not they're, like they're not a pushover team. Like they're not completely out of it. You know, they're still in it, and those 10 points add up, man. Like a lot of teams don't 10-0, like. You know, usually it's like 8-2 or it's like 6-4. Like, like if you 10-0, then you're basically, like, you have a lot of points. Like, that's half the points you basically have for a week. That's a lot. It is quite a lot, especially when the opposing team gets zero. It's just a little bit crushing, a little bit harsh. But at the same time, like, that just goes to show how well SC have been playing this entire war, which I just think goes to show their capabilities and their ceiling. Because this team... Is a scary man. It's definitely just like you said. It's not a pushover team, and certainly in a division as tightly contested like this, you know, they're a scary team. This division, so they're looking to make wonders going into the next couple of weeks. As we go into the last race, it picks BZ3. Pretty fun track to see towards the end of the war, I suppose. Yeah, you know, we'll see if uh, any player does anything, you know, cool. I guess that we can like scream over. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see some uh some possible like shroom into ultra type of like shenanigans going on. Monsters the like, clear cut first, Vix shrooms up, tries to overtake him. Curious to see how the blocking will go, if any of them will go for Ultra. Yeah, Neo for goes ultra. for it. Ooh, makes makes it. it. Yep. Good on him, I'll make that. Really lead there. And like as we're basically commentating this last race here like what do you think that like bb71 kind of didn't do as much as they should have as like, uh, as opposed to like st yeah i just felt it, you mentioned this before as well it's kind of just that front presence like st was up there like almost every single race they had at least one if not two people whether it was monster acme every now and then you see even jesus and jorge get up there on the side of BBC 7 ones, it was just you rarely saw anyone like constantly up there, and that kind of just killed them. I don't even think really the shocks were like, I mean, the shocks obviously helped ST a little bit more, but I don't think it was necessarily like the Q, like super, super outbagged uh, the bagger of BBC 7 ones. I think it was just the team play and the coordination of ST that kind of just prevailed massively in this match. Yeah, I mean, I think that BB71 was really fighting this uphill battle where it's like one of their players was like up there, and but then ST, like, what they've been doing this whole war that like everyone might overlook or maybe some people might have seen is like they've been schlagging a whole lot. Like, yeah. they've, 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 like, they've been using their items very, very well, whether it's like triple greens, like stopping to like trail someone or like just like Jorge did in the middle of uh, DKJP, like with the star. Like, that's huge. Like, those are huge plays that, like, cost, like, the the other team's players, like, an opportunity to, like, even smell a top spot or even get up there. And it's like, when you lock down the other team so much like this, there's nothing that team can do regardless of, 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 of how good they are on paper or, or, how, or whatever it is. Like, if you do those small things, like, you're, you're, like, you're setting your team up for success, and that's what we've seen ST do here is, like, playing to their strengths a lot. 
Yeah, for sure. And uh, for me personally, it just goes to show, uh, goes to show like the team, like uh, chemistry, kind of just playing over the years and then slotting in Acme, who's like a top tier player. It just makes this strength, this team, such a deadly team going forward. And it seems like the race is over. That race felt really quick. Wow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it seems like ST, I believe, did indeed 10-0. BB71 in this match for the GSE points. Very big bounce back for ST, losing a close match to Gamp last week and semi close match to MY13. Yeah, I mean, this is huge for ST. They're basically probably in the playoff contention, most likely. Just 10 points is just huge. Like, 10 points makes a huge difference. And, you know, I'm not saying it's they're going to completely make the playoffs or they won't make the playoffs but i mean that's huge like that you know that's definitely something to be able to sleep you know sleep well at night over and i'm sure they're gonna want to keep doing that and i'm sure they're gonna look at this video and be like all right you know we did this right we did this right let's like continue doing this but for bb71 i think like watching like this past vod like they definitely do have to like introspect a little bit and just you know figure out like what went wrong and like what they should have done better because there's there's a lot of things that, you know, that they were doing that, you know, they could have definitely improved on that would have given them a better chance because a lot of the races were shockless. Like you didn't really see too many shocks, you know? Yeah. No, yeah, without a doubt, you're hundred percent right, right with that. And, uh, that kind of will just conclude this match. Um, being to cast a lot more matches, this division, the team, you know, is working very hard to try to get. Tried to gather, tried to provide this content for you guys. Uh, real quick, big shout out to Cynical for stepping in as the stream host in like the last like hour or so. Came up clutch. Big shout yeah, out to big him. Big ups, bro. Big ups, bro. Like literally, like if like if you didn't clutch up for the gang, bro, we wouldn't have done this. Like this wouldn't have happened. And I'm sure y'all are happy that you know. Thank, thank Christian for this. Like this is definitely like not all just me and evasive like christian like we couldn't have done this without him so like if y'all want to thank anyone it's definitely him yeah for sure is the mvp of the cast for sure but uh yeah it looks like we're gonna be closing out here hoping to bring you guys some more matches in the next couple days uh shout out to fresco for co-casting it was really fun doing it with you for the first time i think yeah it's the first time we cast it together it was pretty yes, sir, fun dude. uh hope to see us cast a lot more matches we're gonna be raiding my man X will and uh see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Yes, sir. Take it easy. Eat health, eat your vegetables. Rating uh, X well. Rating for see, uh, see you.